What's going on guys? It's Dan Before Time. Today, I wanted to do a little guide about the basics of crafting and upgrading within No Man's Sky. So as you guys may know, you start off with only the most basic suit, ship, and multi-tool. It's definitely enough to get you going, but the inventory slots on all of these are severely limited. And the game doesn't give you any direction on how to go about this, so if you're just starting out, hopefully this guide can save you some time and frustration and put you on the path right away towards that better gear. Now, just like anything in No Man's Sky, there's multiple ways to go about things. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the path of Explorer. So let's get into the method that I've been using to upgrade my inventory slots and equipment without trading and spending very little money in the process. The first step in this process uses signal scanners. These are the medium-sized cargo pods with the orange beam coming straight out of the top. They're usually scattered around settlements and bases. You've probably seen them many times, but you might have passed them up because they require what's called a bypass chip to access. Luckily, these are very easy to craft and don't eat up too many resources. They require 10 iron and 10 plutonium, both of which are abundant on pretty much every planet. And here's where the crafting comes in. In order to craft an item, and in order to see what you can craft, you will need one empty inventory slot. From there, all you need to do is hover over the empty slot and press square, then hover over the item you want to craft, in this case, the bypass chip. Press and hold X, and then bam, you're done. You can now use your freshly crafted bypass chip to access the signal scanner. And the signal scanner will give you access to four choices. You can choose monolith, colonial outpost, transmission, or shelter. I always go for monolith because they're really cool looking and I like learning the alien languages along the way, but it doesn't really matter what you choose. The waypoint that it gives you is what's important for this method. The game will procedurally generate small camps and settlements in between major waypoints. Use this to your advantage. Keep an eye out for them and land at every one you can. Almost all of them will have loot and resources, but some, like this one, will have large upgrade pods. An item is not required to enter the pod. You simply walk up to it and enter it and press and hold square to access the menu. This one gave me the option to install a new slot in my suit inventory. This upgrade did cost 10,000 units, but as you can see, I have almost 49,000 units in the bank. And again, this was attained with zero trading or selling. All of my units have come from simply scanning wildlife, plants, and locations and uploading them to the server. The next thing you want to do is remember to check out interiors in all the buildings that you can, scattered throughout camps, settlements, and bases. In these spaces you'll find a plethora of things that will be helpful to you on your journey. Sometimes this is just a simple health or shield recharge, but oftentimes you'll find very useful tech upgrades, most often for the multi-tool, and the great thing about these upgrades is they're completely free. And all that's required to use them is the empty space in your multi-tool inventory, and a few simple abundant resources that you can find on pretty much any planet. And one more thing that you're going to want to look out for is these pods with smoke, they're called damaged machinery. Now these are a little more rare, but every time I have come across one, they've contained some form of upgrade for my ship technology, whether it be an increase to my thrusters or my weaponry. And remember, all these upgrades are crafted in the same way that I showed you with the bypass chip earlier in the video. Here's an example of me crafting a plasma launcher for my multi-tool. It's basically an explosive grenade that helps you mine materials faster. And keep in mind that I obtained this for free, just because I took some extra time to explore a random interior. So I hope this method for a cheap and easy upgrade path has been helpful. Just remember, craft bypass chips, use them to hack the signal scanners, choose whatever type of waypoint interests you, and then simply search the camps and settlements in between those waypoints, pick up, craft, and equip your new technology, wash, rinse, and repeat. And if you make sure to scan and upload plants, animals, and locations along the way, you'll even come out of it with more money than you started with. All of the upgrades that I showed in this video were found in one 2-3 to three hour play session. This method does not require a boring all day grind, and if followed, in no time you'll become a much more capable adventurer and see a hell of a lot of cool things along the way. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out so much. As always, I've been Dan Before Time, you've been awesome, and until next time, Enjoy your travels.